Let's say that you want to monitor several websites, whether they're internal or external. Let's say that you're also a financial advisor or an IT personnel, possibly even a call center or a home business owner. It doesn't really matter who you are. The purpose of this video is really to show that this can be used by multiple people and even agencies to monitor internal or external websites. Now there are companies out there on the market that can show you, uh, that can do these things uh, with a uh, what they call wall boards, pretty much expensive TV screens and proprietary software uh, where you can monitor I don't know, like call center statistics. Um, if you're an IT person a shop, you can monitor uh, the uh, monitoring software that you have for all your servers. If you're a financial advisor, you can monitor the stock market, um, multiple multiple websites, and it's pretty much um, anything that you want to monitor. As long as you can reach a website, uh, the website for it, you can use this trick. So what you're going to need is Firefox. If you don't already have Firefox, we're going to need to install it by going to Firefox.com. We're going to download the free software and I've already downloaded it to save the trouble of downloading it on my slow connection speed here I'm gonna go ahead and go to downloads and here you can see the installation package for Firefox I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that now the installation of Firefox it's pretty quick it's pretty straightforward not too many options now I get a prompt asking me if I want to allow this app to make changes to my PC yes I'm going to go ahead and click on next. I'm going to use, use the standard uh, type. Click next. I'm going to accept the default installation path. Click install. I'm going to go ahead and launch Firefox. Now, before we install the additional plugins that we're going to uh, install on this, what I'm going to do is I want to go to the websites that I want to monitor. In my case, let's say I'm, I'm looking for news and financial information. Again, this doesn't have to necessarily be these websites. It's, it's any website that you want to monitor. So as an example, I'm just going to go to CNN.com. I'm going to go ahead and click on a new tab. As you can see, I've kind of been playing around with it. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Wall Street Journal. And I'm going to look for markets. I'm going to click on any of these links up here. Uh, let's say this first one here. Okay. And just for kicks, I let's say I want to monitor um, not CNN, but NS MSNBC. Okay. So now I have three websites, and again, it could be any website. So it doesn't have to be these three tabs. It could be multiple tabs. We're going to go ahead and save these to our startup by going to, sorry, uh, we're going to go to uh, your menu bar here. You're going to go to Options. Here you're going to use Current Pages. That's going to save the current tabs minus the Option one here. And that's pretty much it. So we can go ahead and close on that. If you want to confirm it, you can go back to the menu, options, and you can see here CNN, Wall Street Journal, and the MSNB, uh, MSNBC.com website. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and click on add ons. Now, get add ons. There's going to be two add ons that you can want to install depending on whether you want to go to full screen or not and definitely the slideshow um, extension to cycle through the tabs. Let's go ahead and install the tab slideshow first. So it'll be tab slideshow. It's the first one listed here. We're going to go ahead and click on install. It's going to ask us to restart Firefox. We're not going to do that just yet. We're going to also click on, we're also going to type in full screen the one we're looking for is M full screen mode for Firefox. Go ahead and install that. Now we're going to go ahead and click on restart now. Okay. We're back in Firefox. What we want to do is go to extensions. 
we're going to go to tab slideshow first. We're going to tell it to begin on startup. That is to every time that Firewa Firefox is started, this pro uh, particular extension will kick in and cycle through the open tabs. Um, cycle within the current tab group, meaning whatever is open up here. Now you're also going to want to change the time. Uh, let's say that you want to cycle every five seconds. That's the uh, lowest amount that you can choose. We're going to click OK. Now we're going to click on options for the M full extension. And I want it to start up in full screen mode every time I launch Firefox. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be attaching this computer to a smart TV. Um, so I'm going to use a 40 inch screen TV in my office uh, where I'm going to be monitoring these websites and I, I want it, it to go full screen at all times. I also don't want to click, uh, I don't want to see the toolbar so I'm going to click on appearance one tab here and I'm going to make sure that this show to to toolbars is not checked. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now what I want to do is go ahead and close out of Firefox and see if my uh, options that I've set up are working properly. If they are, Firefox should go into full screen mode. Looks like it's working. It's picking up the first tab. There we go. Five seconds later, it's loading msnbc.com and finally loading uh, cnn.com. So every five seconds, this is going to cycle through all the different websites that I've chosen and depending on your TV screen that you have, uh, pretty much all you got to do is change the input on your TV to make sure that it's accepting the input from your PC or laptop. And that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys.